Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this quick little video uh, just about something very interesting tonight. Uh, I know there are people out there talking about this already because there's a lot of excitement uh, around this already. Uh, we know that Jeff Hardy has been drafted to SmackDown. That won't come into effect yet. Uh, he's going to be on Raw for the next few weeks. Uh, we're going to talk about what we think he will be doing. But uh, he did have this interview in ring um, and said uh, that he thinks it's time to show a different side of Jeff Hardy. I would completely agree. I also think it's time to see a different side to Jeff Hardy. Um, that obviously got uh, the internet talking, a lot of excitement out there. Uh, just after this segment, though, uh, we saw that Austin Theory came down to the ring, uh, took a selfie with uh, Jeff Hardy, and then attacked him. So it does look like Jeff Hardy is going to be uh, doing a little feud, a mini feud, with Austin Theory in the meantime. That's only whilst he's on Raw, of course. Then he will move over to SmackDown, when he goes to SmackDown, we're going to see this different side. And uh, you know where I'm going with this. Willow. Willow could be, should be that different side. Uh, Willow is a very interesting character. It's someone that the fans have been calling for for quite a while. Uh, Willow was a character that Jeff Hardy played in the Omega promotion. And uh, that was the promotion that Jeff had with Matt Hardy. I think it was like the promotion that they had as kids when they were starting out. Uh, and this was one of his alter egos. This was one of his characters that he created. Uh, he would then introduce this character uh, to the wider wrestling world on Impact. Uh, we did see it in Ring of Honor as well. And uh, it's a very, very interesting character. This is part of one of the early vignettes. And uh, he always talks in, like, riddles and rhymes. A little bit along the lines of, like, a Bray Wyatt cult Bray promo. Um, kind of talking uh, very much that way. Always putting, like, sound effects on his voice as well when he's cutting these promos. And they are a lot more interesting than when he cuts promos just backstage as Jeff Hardy. Um, these are a lot more cryptic. And uh, obviously as well, he's got this very distinctive look. Uh, you can see that it's Jeff Hardy underneath. But uh, you can see like how he does his hair a little bit different. And obviously that mask as well, that's uh, quite iconic. And the same with the umbrella also. It's a very interesting character. Um, the thing with the character is that it, just as it was getting started in Impact, that's when he actually left. So uh, as a result, like we never really saw... Uh, how far this character could go. Um, there's a few things to be aware of with the character. And that is that Jeff has actually been talking about the fact he's been speaking again to the person that makes the masks. And uh, he said that before he retires, he wants to bring this character to life one more time. The timing is absolutely perfect uh, for Willow. Uh, to be brought into the WWE. We've never seen this character. And it is a character that Jeff owns. It's his character that he created. Uh, we've never seen this character in WWE. And obviously one of the big talking points as well. Is the fact that WWE fee feel like there's uh, money to be made. With a fiend type character. Um, there was a big report that came out of uh, WWE thinking there's still money. For a fiend type character. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's not the fiend that they're going to introduce. But it is going to be Jeff Hardy with this alter ego. Jeff Hardy is still massively over. He's still massively popular. I don't know how this character works on SmackDown. Is the only thing I would say. Um, because it's a cryptic character that embraces the darker side of things. Cryptic promos. Um, you know, promos that are like riddles and rhymes and they're not as straightforward. Um, and there's a darkness, there's a mystery to this character. Kind of lends itself a little bit more to Raw than it does to SmackDown. And uh, it'll be very interesting. As we said, he's we've seen it a couple of times uh, in Impact and in Ring of Honor. And just as things really got going, he uh, he ended up abandoning the character. 
um, and uh, leaving the company or uh, switching back to uh, Jeff Hardy, like the normal Jeff Hardy. Uh, as we said, we don't feel that we've seen everything there is to see from this character and we haven't seen this character at all in wwe so let me know your thoughts uh, did you enjoy willow uh, did you watch willow when he was in ring of honor or impact would you bring willow to wwe how do you think it works on smackdown do you think it'll just be seen as like a fiend ripoff even though willow was around first Willow it has been around before The Fiend was around. It's just going to be new to a lot of people. And obviously the timing is a bit off as well. Like we just lose The Fiend and now we get Willow. And uh, there'd been those reports that WWE want to replace The Fiend or have someone else play The Fiend. Or is this what they're going to do? Are they going to bring Willow in instead? I don't know. What's your thoughts? I'm down for seeing it. I'm down for seeing it. I think it would be uh, enjoyed by uh, part of the WWE universe. I just don't know if SmackDown's the right brand. That's the bit that I think, if it was Raw, I think uh, I would I would be a bit more hopeful. But with SmackDown, I'm not sure if Fox are going to go for it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.